For more than 75 years, a RTD has been a leader with providing the world's largest and most capital-intensive industries with technical support. As the market leader in non-destructive testing, inspection, and certification, we ensure, among others, that clients want to comply with the highest safety standards. But what exactly is non-destructive testing? The purpose of non-destructive testing is to carry out a non-invasive technique to determine the integrity of a material, component, structure of an object. The results of such inspections will assist our clients in making decisions involving maintenance, repairs, or replacement. We are playing an important role in monitoring the integrity of the object and the safety of our client's plant and its environment. Several different methods of non-destructive testing as well as techniques are developed. The most important aspect to a thorough visual inspection is the use of experienced and certified visual examiners. Their expertise enables them to carry out an informed observation with the naked eye. Visible irregularities on the surface could be an indication of problems present within the material. Based on the visual inspection, the examiner can, for example, assess whether a welding process was completed as specified by our clients. Frequent inspection should be done of the flue gas channels to ensure there's no indication of defects in the insulation. The use of process safety management, or PMS, and regular visual inspection can prevent minor irregularities from going undetected and becoming a costly issue. Magnetic testing is a fast and accurate method to indicate irregularities located at or closely under the surface. The method only works on magnetic materials. Paint layers or rust can affect the examination negatively, so it is important to first clean the surface carefully. A yoke magnet generates a magnetic field between two poles. On the Berthold penetrometer, one can see the direction in which the magnetic field is moving. We call this the magnetic flux. In other words, we examine whether the natural direction of the magnetic field is interrupted. If that is the case, we have what we call an indication of an irregularity or a leak field. We prove this by spraying tiny iron particles on the object between the poles of the magnet. If a leak field is present, the particles will cluster together at the magnetic flux leakage. To make sure the buildup of the iron particles is clearly visible, in some cases the surface is first sprayed with a thin layer of contrast paint. The examiner carefully checks that he didn't miss anything. He then applies a magnetic field crosswise over the surface. Then he sprays a black suspension powder, a liquid in which small iron particles are suspended that react to the magnetic field. The examiner watches the iron particles reaction carefully. Then the MT examination is done in the 90 degree direction to ensure 100% coverage. In this case, the weld did not indicate a leak field. The examiner indicates that the result is acceptable. Penetrant testing is used to examine non-magnetizable materials on small, mostly tear-shaped imperfections with an open connection to the surface. For starters, the surface is cleaned thoroughly. The examiner waits for the cleaner to dry. Then a high-quality penetrating product is applied, a contrast-rich product that penetrates into the smallest pores. The experienced examiner carefully removes the excess penetrating product and checks if the surface is perfectly clean. The penetrating product only remains in the imperfections invisible to the naked eye. A developer is applied with the third aerosol can. This forms a white chalk layer on the surface, 
making the hidden penetrating product visible. Here we see how the developer basically draws the penetrating product in sight. We call this the bleeding of the penetrating product. This shows us where there are any imperfections. In this case, no imperfections were found. The investigated part is unaffected. Radiography testing utilizes ionizing radiation to achieve an image of an object on several different viewing medias. This may be gamma rays, or as in this case, X-rays. The examiner marks the weld to be inspected with a measuring tape. This will be visible on the X-ray. Thus, he will know how to determine the exact location of possible irregularities. The film is mounted on the object and the X-ray tube is set up carefully. The examiner leaves the area, closes the lead door, and operates the device remotely. This way, he avoids coming into contact with the radiation. He adjusts the voltage, current, and duration depending on the investigated material and the wall thickness. Then he starts the irradiation. The X-rays go through the material and generate a radiographic image on the film or imaging plate once processed. The experienced eye of the examiner interprets the image, and he can now determine the quality of the inspected object and if it meets the standards. X-rays can also be used to establish the authenticity of paintings, for example. Through the centuries, paint contained different quantities of lead. By exposing the paint layers to x-rays, it is possible to establish whether a cloth was repainted and the period from which the paint layers originated. In this case, the radiographic image is recorded on an imaging plate. Using the computer, a digital radiographic image is read. Art experts can use this to determine the authenticity of the painting. It is possible to investigate whether there are discontinuities under the surface using ultrasonic sound waves. Ultrasound has such a high frequency, people cannot hear it. The vibrations can, however, be measured with sensitive measuring equipment. Using this storage vessel, a weld is checked for internal discontinuities. First, the object being examined must be cleaned and free of any material that may interfere with the exam. Simply said, it works as follows. Sound waves are transmitted into the material with the transducer and an echo is sent back from the rear wall or discontinuity. By registering this echo, we can deduct the thickness of the material or if a discontinuity is present. In case of a discontinuity, sound is echoed back faster. Thus, we can see if the material wall is thinning, for instance by corrosion. The examiner first applies a contact fluid to enable the ultrasonic feeler to make proper contact with the material. This bonding layer serves to conduct the sound waves into the material. Without the contact fluid, they would immediately bounce back from the surface. A transducer converts an electronic signal into ultrasonic sound waves. It can both send and receive.
The ultrasound equipment captures the reflected waves and converts this into a visual signal. This enables the examiner to see whether there are any discontinuities. If there is an indication, the exact location can be determined using calculations. Apart from the non-destructive examination methods we have seen, there are various other advanced methods that can be used in a customized way. a RTD remains the leader in innovative technological developments, enabling us to continue doing our work the best we can with the minimum impact on our client's production process while ensuring the safety of man and the environment.